Ireland's Abby Lyle made her senior championship debut last year at the 2022 World Championships with Geraldo. Now, a year later, she's back and with a different horse. We caught up with her to find out more about Farrell and their performance today. Abby, you've just completed your test with Farrell. How are you feeling? I have, um, I've got a few emotions going on. I'm so proud of him because I've thrown a lot at him this year and he's always been a little bit of a spooky horse and he just went in and handled that atmosphere like an absolute pro. I could not be more proud of him. And um, yeah, that's my main emotion. Mistakes were made, so I'm a bit like, I'm annoyed at myself. I can't not be, um, but I just think we grow in confidence together and he, he he's got more confidence now maybe it's time i can have some more too but um yeah i'm really happy but you can't help but be like oh, things that i've done well all year as well but that's why we're that's why this is the the creme de la creme this is the hardest thing you'll do all year but you said i saw on social media you said coming into this is farrell's year what kind of feeling has he been giving you in the build-up to this that made you feel that way oh he's just felt like so much more um like really up for it he feels strong he feels like even you know he's look around he's not the flashiest horse but i actually feel like he's getting more accomplished at every movement he's actually even giving me a bit more of everything but then also in terms of like his rideability he's like yeah okay i know what i'm doing let's do it that's what he feels like it's lovely <laughs> and tell me about his personality what's he like <laughs> oh he's so funny he's very um he well he's a bit afraid of everything he's afraid of life but he's a real softy like he loves love he just wants like a affection he just wants you to stroke all around his head and be really really soft and gentle with him um but yeah then then also he's a bit like I always say he's hard on the outside soft on the inside that's what he's like that's the best way to say it <laughs> and for you you've got had two horses now that you competed at championships what does that mean to you as a rider oh, it means so much and it's quite a lot to to take because you get so like, I was so nervous the last 48 hours like it really hit me and um, then this morning I kind of stepped away and was like you've you've produced her yourself and you've come here two consecutive years in a row like come on you're all right so um, it, it does it means so much it's such a long road and then it's quite easy to think like that one that six minutes in there is the be all and end all but it's not you come out and you go again and you get on and you go and make things better for next year I couldn't even imagine this time next year I'd have Farrell in this type of atmosphere so yeah and they're you know both are only 12 I'm young-ish and we can keep going that's yeah that's what it feels like and it does it means so much and to have had them myself from young ones is so special I feel like this is my glory days <laughs> <laughs> when you say you've had them from young ones as well your bond between you and them you must know them inside out and them you yeah weirdly I feel like I know Farrell more than Artie but I think that's just because he's a more like Farrell's more overt with his emotions <laughs> <laughs> Artie's a bit more like introverted and like it's not always easy to tell if he's feeling a bit oh, tense or not uh, but Farrell will tell you very clearly how he's feeling so, yeah and just finally what advice would you give or what words would you say to younger people you know looking at these championships and wanting to make a life and career out of this um, do you know I don't know if this is like really off piece but I'm going to say something that I think has really um, I think people should know that we're all feeling it you know like you come to things like this I think it's easy to see people riding around looking amazing and you think like they must just be riding around thinking it feels great and it's easy and it's not and I think everyone will feel it and everyone feels the pressure and everyone feels that atmosphere I think not just me but the people that are going to be up there in the 80s today and I think like we're all in the same boat like we actually are and if we kind of think about it a bit like that then it will help other people to just go out and do it and get on with it because yeah it's it's hard no matter what and I think we all feel it and I think don't think we should hide it either. Head over to the Horse and Hound website for all the news from here at the European Dressage Championships and don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content.